Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Life Brand. If you haven't done so already, you can click that subscribe button down below. I truly appreciate it. Anyway, today is just a very random day. I wasn't even expecting to do this video at all, but here we are doing a review on the Ritual Chocolate Company Gingerbread Bar. I had a day off and I was speaking to a friend of mine who is going to host the guy off of TikTok. I don't have TikTok, so I don't know who this guy is, but she showed me a couple clips. And this guy, I guess, is known as the chai guy and he makes chai and comments on how people make their chai lattes. So I love chai too. I love all sorts of food, right? I'm a foodie. And I decided to go grab a chai latte, a barefoot coffee um, with oat milk. And I asked them, can you just lessen the amount of chai in there because I can't really handle a lot of caffeine. Anyway, long story short, I bought myself my chai latte from barefoot coffee and really good by the way. Extremely smooth, um, not an overly powerful like cinnamon chai taste, but just enough. I also got myself into a little bit of trouble with this ritual chocolate. I say trouble because I don't really, I, I love chocolate, okay? And I love to, uh, I love food and I don't mind spending on food or dessert and just like, just food in general because I feel like it's worth it, right? But chocolate that costs, a chocolate bar that costs $11.50. Or is it 11.25? I don't know. And I was like, there's no way. They must have marked up the price so much, you know? And I'm like, all right, well, whatever. I'll go ahead and grab it anyway. I know that some specialty chocolate uh, bars can cost a good amount of money, but I, I don't think I've ever purchased something quite as expensive. I asked the lady, I was like, are you sure this is 11.25, 11.50, like $11 for a chocolate bar? And then she goes, yeah, it's really good chocolate. And I, she goes, I personally haven't tried it myself because I hate chocolate. Who the heck? hates chocolate. Ah, anyway, she goes, try it if you love chocolate because I've heard really good reviews about it. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to go ahead and grab it just to make a darn review because it costs way too much for me not to. Back. I mean, it's cute. It's almost like an art deco type theme to it. Um, it is vegan and it's recyclable and of course it's paper right and it says on the back gingerbread spice chocolate tasting notes of gingerbread cinnamon cloves and nutmeg this bar com combines our 70 percent house mid mountain blend chocolate with gingerbread spices to bring you all the warm festive cheer of the season grab my attention because of the <laughs> the gingerbread man on the front i love gingerbread and um this it says it's perfect for sledding adventure and cross-country uh, ski journey or for a snowshoe. What is a for a snowshoe? Can somebody comment on that? I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys really quick what I see on their Ritual Chocolate website. I wanted to know a little bit more about them. I'm like, there's no way that this chocolate has to cost that much. And sure enough, when I went on their website, it costs about $11 for a, a bar of chocolate. Now, it gives you an option of buying a 12 pack, which is $118.80. And yeah, I still don't understand why it costs as much, but then reading a little bit more about their company as I'm like looking through their website right now, I can only assume that it's, you know, ethically sourced and the product is really good. Let's see, it says here, healthy indulgence, a tasting experience. Yeah, it's very schmancy chocolate. I think the last time I've ever like spent this much on chocolate was when I went to Seattle or um, Portland, or and Portland. Um, but I mean, when you're on a trip, you kind of spend a little bit more anyway, at least I do for food. Oh, look, see, there you go. So this is sustainably and ethically sourced. We source the cacao from growers and co-ops that prioritize um, sustainability with while supporting quality of life along the supply chain. Paying premium prices means our cacao is grown organically and protects both biodiversity and genetic variation while paying fair wages uh, for for cocoa growers. Cocoa growers? No, cacao growers. Sorry, I'm trying to read through my phone as I'm like recording this, but it's not working. So growers maintain ecosystems in their growing practices, uh, making sure a wide variety Okay, you guys get the point. So basically sustainably and ethically sourced. Huh, that's a cute little thing. And then chocolate club um, subscription boxes. I guess you guys can subscribe. Our journey. We started, rich, 
we started Ritual in 2010, we fell in love with chocolate and not just the eating part, but the history of cacao and the beautiful stories of small chocolatiers around Europe that would live above their chocolate shops and devote their lives to creating chocolate. There is something about chocolate that grips people and inspires them. We desperately want wanted to be part of this world and share what we discovered, learn more. Okay, so yes, it is a very fancy type chocolate. Um, and look, it's like if you spend above $50 and there's free shipping. And I just want to know a little bit more about this company. I know that it's ethically sourced, but okay. So the highest quality chocolate award-winning small batch bean to bar chocolate made using old world methods and premium cacao recognized around the world for exceptional quality in cocoa or cacao selection. Sorry. You see here, it always confused me. Cacao, not cocoa. Um, Sierra process. Ooh, that was so pretty. So there's a combination of old world and modern techniques to create the smoothest chocolate and maintain the delicate flavor notes of our ex exceptional cacao. I'm not gonna go into this, so I guess there's like one, uh, there's a roasting, there's the winnowing. That's when you like crack the shell from the, the cocoa bean. And then the pre-grinding and mixing, roll mill refining, uh, longitudinal conch, what is that? Okay, so this is our oldest and most unique chocolate making machine. Our longitudinal conch was made in Langthanol, Langthal, sorry guys, Switzerland by the U Amon Company. Oh, of course it's from Switzerland, sometime around 1915. It was used in the Souchard factory from 1915 to 1990 until Souchard was bought by Toblerone. Oh, cool. And the factory was closed down, uh, blah, blah, blah. So it has really like an extensive history so I'm really having high hopes for this chocolate packaging all right so as you guys can see it's sustainable has a really good process and they pay fair wages which is awesome and now let's go to the actual chocolate tasting <laughs> I'm really hoping this costs I mean this this tastes as much as it should be or cost this is worth it I don't know all right, so it comes out of the box like this. It kind of reminds me of like those hot cocoa packets. And I don't even know how I should eat this. <laughs> I don't want to break it and I accidentally drop it. I'm fairly clumsy too. All right, so it's gonna go in. Mm. That was good chocolate. Excuse me. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. That is really good chocolate. Um, I don't taste the gingerbread though. It tastes like really dark, dark chocolate. I mean, I've tried dark chocolate from I think it's called TCHO or THCO, that chocolate company. And then all over, wherever I travel, I always get myself like some type of chocolate. There isn't anything that's distinctly different for me, um, other than of course the store-bought ones at Snickers and Hershey's and all that, it, it's not comparable to this type of chocolate. This is exquisite chocolate, but It has like bitter notes and it melts almost in instantly, instantaneously on my tongue. And then towards the back, I start tasting it a little bit like a combination of bitter and sweet. Again, I don't taste the gingerbread. So if they made this gingerbread spice chocolate bar a little bit more expensive because of the limited edition-ness to it, I don't think that's worth it. But because it's sustainably made and ethically sourced, I think it's worth it. It's kind of like blood diamonds, you know? I don't know too much about it. It's just, the more I read about these companies or these like places where we take things like this for as a luxury, right? And the people who who put their hard work and effort into like taking what we we think is like, you know, 
it's so readily available to us. Um, it's not so much like a luxury, I guess, right? Um, for them, they can't even afford this stuff. So I do appreciate that they pay um, their workers fair wages. And it is good chocolate. But I don't... I don't taste the other flavors of it, like the gingerbread spices. So is it worth it? This particular bar for buying it for the gingerbread? I would say no. Um, but the company as a whole has like a really good mission, and I can't, I can't, then I can't knock them off for that, right? And I'm still eating the darn chocolate. It goes down smooth. It's not like one of those like dark chocolate bars where it's like you're trying to force yourself to really love the dark chocolate, right? Because it's better for you is what they say. This type of dark chocolate, I could eat all day, but I won't. I'll be good. <laughs> anyway, thanks so much for watching. Let me know if you've ever tried ritual chocolate or if you have any more suggestions for me to try another type of food or chocolate or dessert, whatever, um, comment, subscribe down below. Thanks. Bye.